see if I sort of carry on from yesterday's fair feast and fractions. So hopefully the work that you did yesterday has reminded you of the things that you already know about fractions. So today we're going to use the Cuisinaire. Now I know that you haven't got Cuisinaire at home, um, but I have got an interactive one for you. So the first thing I really want you to do is have a look and on the interactive one you can have a play with the Cuisinaire, maybe build a staircase and do those things. So I've got out here the longest rod and two of the smallest rods. So this is my whole, this is my whole thing, so I'm going to find fractions of. So the first thing I want you to do is work through the rods and see if you can find rods that, max, that match this in length. So let's start with the blue. If I put two blue rods down, is that going to be the same as my one hole? No, it's not, is it? That's longer than my one hole. So I can't have that. It's my fraction at the moment. And then I want you to work through all the colours of the rods. What about this? Is this going to work? No, that's not going to work either, is it? Because that's too long. So that's not a fraction of my hole because that's too big. So let's try, if I try the brown. Oh, I already think this one's going to be too big. Yeah, no, that's too big. So let's try the next one. So I've got, oh, oh yeah, I feel good here. Oh, yeah, I think that's right. So that is the same length. So here, this is my one hole. I'm going to just write on the table. That's my one. Here then, this is the same length, isn't it, as my hole, but I've got it into two equal parts. So this is one half this would be one half of my whole one half and this is my second half so there we go we found a fraction of our whole which is a half so you need to carry on using all the rods and see if you can find more oh let's try the yellow one if i try the yellow one is the yellow one oh maybe another one is that going to get me there? Oh no, I think that's going to be too long. It's bigger than my hole. So that one doesn't work. So let's try the light green. Let's see. Yeah, I've got one of them. Two. Three. Do you think another one's going to be the same length? Yep, yeah, there we go. So this time I've got one two three four so if this was a half because i had two equal parts hopefully you're saying this is a quarter this is one quarter because i've got four equal parts of my whole so that's one quarter so let's try um this one next. Let's see if I can make this the same size as my one hole. How many am I going to need? Is it going to fit? Is it going to be too long? Let's see. Oh, it's close. Uh, yeah, that's right. So that's the same length as my one hole. So how many pieces, how many parts have I got now? I've got one, two, three, four, five six so my fraction here this is going to be one sixth because i've got six fractions that make up my one whole that's going to be the same okay so now i've got my smallest rod so let's see now some of you may already be pred predicting whether this was going to work and how many rods I've got. So I've got four, I've got five and six. Mm, looks about right. Seven, eight, nine, ten. No, that's not quite right, is it? Ten, eleven, is that right? Let me see. No, a bit short. One more. Yeah, that's going to be right. So, how many parts have I got here? 
I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this would be one twelfth. So hopefully there you can see I have my one hole, and my hole can be anything. And then if I put them all together, let's just double check that Mrs. Oliver is right, that they are all exactly the right length. Yeah, so I had my one hole here. Then this is a half because I've got two pieces. And then here I've got a quarter because I've got four pieces. And then let's move these down. Here I've got six parts. And remember they have to be equal parts. Remember the fair feast has to be fair, doesn't it? Has to be fair and equal. And then I've got my one twelfth there. So there I've made a fraction wall. I started with my one hole and then I found the ones that fit in exactly. So I remember I eliminated the ones that were too long. So that I've done with um, the long rod and two of the smallest rods. So you can then investigate with other numbers. So you might choose maybe two of the largest rods. So then what would happen if you had two of the largest rods and that was your one hole. Which ones of these would fit in? Which fractions could you make if you had a rod that was two of these long or even one of these long? So now I'm going to show you the interactive version that you can use to make a fraction wall. Okay, so on the Enrich website, there's this quiz and air environment. There's a link to it in the description box of the video. So this will give you a set of quiz and air that you can play with. So you just choose the colour of the rod and then you can move it to anywhere you would like. So you could build a staircase with the quiz and air. You could make some pictures, just get used to how to manipulate them, move them around. You can see there that these are in size order if you've got an ipad you can just manipulate them on the ipad if you've got a laptop um, you can do that use the mouse so there they all are this i've put the grid on in the background for this just to make it a bit easier if you don't want a rod that you've selected you simply take it out from there and drag it and pop it into the bin and it'll disappear and if you want all the rods to go, just click on clear rods. So once you've had to play around and got used to the controls, I want you to build the quiz with the quiz and air, the fraction wall that I built earlier. So do you remember that was the longest with two of the smallest rods? So that's my one hole. And just like I did with the quiz and air, you can then choose the next colours. See if you can make it the same length to see if it's equivalent. That's the word we're looking for. Is that going to be equivalent? No, that's going to be too big. So I'm going to get rid of that and I can just pop it into the bin there. Like that. So you can keep going. What colour do you think? Is this going to be right? Am I going to, is this going to be equivalent to my hole? No, that's not right either. So again, I can pop that into my bin. So let's have a look at this green. Oh, so I've got one. Click it again, move it. Yeah, so that's equivalent, isn't it? So I've got my one hole, and here I've got my two halves, haven't I? I've got two pieces. So this piece here would be one half of my hole. And then you can keep going with the colours again. See if you can make the one half, the one third, the one sixth, and the one twelfth. And then once you've done that, again, you can clear all the rods. You can do that. So you can write these down. You could draw them potentially in your maths book, or you could just write down the fractions that you made. So for this one, maybe I'll try, the, this is my one hole. So I've got one long rod, one long rod there. So how many, can I fit the blues in exactly to make an equivalent? Oh no, that's not going to work, is it? That's, 
not going to work. So I can pop that away. What about this one? Am I going to oh, move it all? Click on the rod and then move it. One, two. No, that's not going to be right either. So that's not right. And just keep going through. Oh, I need to pop it into the bin. And keep going through. Let's try this one. How many of these am I going to use to be equivalent? Let's have a go. So I've got, I'll put it down there just so you can see because the colours are slightly different. So I've got one, two, three. I'm going to make it this time. Oh, that's the wrong face. This is a four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. So I've got my one hole and here I've got ten. So my fraction would be one tenth. So that would be one tenth. So I wonder how many of these smallest rods how many of those would I fit in across there? And also I wonder would, would, would I be able to fit the pink ones in? Would I be able to fit the yellow ones in? And how many, what fractions could I make? So you can do that with any selection of rods. You could just start with that one rod there. So that could be one hole and just keep going. So start with your one hole, because remember a fraction is always a fraction of something. You had fractions of your pizza or your apple for the fair feast. See how many fraction walls you can make. And you could write them down in your maths book or maybe you could take a screenshot if you're using it on your um, iPad or if you're using it on a laptop, maybe you could take a screenshot and you could show me how many fraction walls you made. 